Uh, this expo, honestly, it is not your normal barber battle. It's more like a Super Bowl of barber shops. The playoffs, the, it's it's big, and for for me to win this one, it was it was a really big deal for me. Uh, the design they <clears throat> put into a screen moments before the competition started so you didn't have to choose anything it was just something that they put up there everyone had to do the same exact one it was it was basically a surprise whatever it is that he puts up everyone had to duplicate that design and whoever duplicated it won the 2019 Nissan Altima uh, yeah I definitely consider myself an artist ever since I was a kid I've always used to draw on paper and stuff like that and as I got older when I started cutting hair I realized that I can actually put my art into people's heads so with that I just started practicing kept going with it it was something that I enjoyed um, something that was for me it was kind of like therapeutic like I could turn down all the time of the day and, and any stress anything that I'm that's going on with me and as I do these art pieces it just, you know, it's a good feeling to, to complete it and see how it looks when, you, when you're done. Um, ever since I was younger, I was always cutting people uh, in like the porch, you know. And uh, from there, I realized that it was something that I wanted to do. And as I got um, older, you know, I started cutting hair, went to school. I didn't care for it as much, but that, as I went through a, a few trials and tribulations in my life, it turned me around and made me think more about my career and I took it to the next level. Um, any barbers that are just starting to get into the whole uh, industry, I would just advise them to continue working at it, never stop, believe in yourself, always push yourself to, to do more and more, try to stay relevant and just continue to, to continue to cut man. The more you cut, the more you the better you get.